factorization see this x minus 3 into x minus 4 this one x minus 2 into x minus 20 <laughs> what about this one Would you like to do factorization in this way? Then you might have to learn the techniques. <laughs> Hi guys, this is Arindam. You're watching Brain Development. So basically, in case of factorization, what do you have to do? You have to, most of the cases, you'll have to line to a formula, something like uh, a square minus b square. And you know the formula, right? <laughs> this is uh, a plus b into a minus b let's try with an easy one what about this this is it's already there this is something like x square and this is something like b square how this 9 means 3 square and this is 16 16 means 4 square then the final answer will be 3a plus 4b into 3a minus 4b don't worry, I'll show you. After watching this video, you will be like this. Uh, you just see it and solve it. It's like that. This is 3 square, right? 3 square and this is a square. A square, I'm just putting it as it is. And this is 16 means 4 square and b square, right? I'm just removing this spot. It's not required. So, this is... Can we write it in this way? Yes. And same way. Make sense? Now, my friend, this is x square and this is y square. So this is x plus y, the formula, simple, straight. This is 3a plus 4b and 3a minus 4b as simple as that oh <laughs> uh, can you see it now whenever you get something you just pause this video it's not like i'm just watching uh, this video and i'm enjoying no whenever you've got a question something like this just pause the video see it you try it by yourself write it in the comment box and then move forward then play it and check it right so, and one more thing, if you are getting bored, I mean, if you know these things, you can jump to this timeline. Now, this one is not like the previous one. Whenever we get this type of things, we have to land into that formula x square minus y square. That means we have to convert it. How? See, this is x square whole square. That means x to the power 4, right? The, the first one. And 1 square means 1, right? Now we have to find 2ab. This is a square, this is b square, initially. So <laughs> we have to find uh, 2ab. What is 2ab? Plus 2 into, this is our first a, and this is our b initial a b right so this becomes x square plus one whole square make sense but we have taken extra x square because it was one x square means one x square right we have taken twice so we have to subtract that extra x square make sense same way we have to put it here now see this again we have landed into the same old formula that is a square minus b square now the funny thing is we will not write it in this format we will write it x in this way because it will look good 
minus x plus 1. Make sense? Are you learning it? Any problem? You just tell me. Uh, anytime if you are not getting something, oh, <laughs> you can write it in the comment box. I'll definitely try my level best to make it as uh, close as possible. <laughs> so, what about the next one? Okay, now it's up to you. I want you to try it. How to try? Pause this video definitely. Whenever you get something, as I have told you already, you just got it and you learn this technique and use it. That is how you, you will grow. <laughs> so this is 4x to the power 4, right? Again, minus 16x squared and plus 9. What about this? Same way, whenever we get this type of things, we have to get a whole square. How? Uh, this is 2x square whole square. We can write it directly, right? This time. And this is um, 3 square. Right? What about this? We'll come to this. But before that, we have to find 2ab. This is initial a, this is initial b. So we have to find the initial 2ab. That is 2 into 3 is 6. 6 into 2 is 12. So 12 directly. I'm just writing it 12 uh, x square. No? Simple thing. 2ab. See, 2 into 2x square into 3. This is 12, my friend. You get it? So, now, oh, one more thing. Just don't write it in this way, blindly. We have to see the sign. This is minus, so we write it in minus because we have to go as close as possible. Now, this is 16. Now, again, four extra x squared we have, that thing will be deducted. Hmm? Clear? Now, what about this? First part. 2x square. Not this time, minus. Because this 2ab is in minus format. Right? So that's why 2x square minus 3 whole square minus 2x whole square. Clear? <laughs> You just learn it and apply it somewhere. Definitely things will be possible for you. Now, what about this? Should I do it or you'll do it? See, every step, see if you're not getting the previous step and now you got it, you just pause it here and do the next step and then check the next part. Okay, this way definitely will grow. Now, again, 2x square and directly, uh, we are taking this here because I, I have shown you right so otherwise you have to rewrite the last line one more time so not required directly you can write like 2x and then uh, minus 3 I'm just writing it here uh, 2x squared and minus 2x because a plus b into a minus b so that minus is here 2x and minus 3 clear <laughs> my friend factorization is something that you need everywhere I mean most of the cases whenever you you grow and you will do something uh, like finding something or maybe LCM HCF everywhere you need to know factorization okay let's do the next one That is okay okay now give it a try yeah definitely I want you to solve each and every question now what about this what about this 144 it's a big number right <laughs> no need to worry my friend you just uh, try it give it a try you can do it come on <laughs> first part again we know this better right what is that? x square whole square. What about this? 12 square. 
we must learn squares 11 square up to 9 up to 10 i'm not asking you because you know that very well now 11 square 121 12 square 144 13 square 169 you know this right so if you don't know just try to learn it as soon as possible learn it by heart so that you you'll never forget so now this is a initial a this is b initial b and then we have to find 2ab that is 2 into a into b that means 2 12 is a 24 24 x square but we have only 8 what to do <laughs> you know this better now we have to subtract that extra 16 yes 16 x square right so 16 means 4 I mean 4 square so same way this part x square plus definitely last one was minus but this is first uh, and positive x square plus 12 whole square and this is we know 4 x should I do the last part no I'm not going to do it now you're going to do it write it in the comment box I'll be waiting for your answer I'm just going to try the next one. <laughs> oh wow this is superb big one <laughs> see whatever you have you just give it a try what is there xy if you're seeing something like xy you have to put x and y together if you're getting something like xz then you have to put x and z together it is like that okay so in this case 56 xy so we have to put this x and y together i'm just taking it uh 7x whole square because 7 7 is a 49 we know this now what is b there is that is 4y whole square 4 4 is a 16 we know this now what about 2ab again this is initial a this is initial b we have to take 2ab 2 into 7 into 4 7 4 is a 28 20 double of 28 56 see it's already there now take this 56 x5 no problem it is already there it's already done we don't have to do anything extra yes but we have extra things like minus one not yet used this minus 64 z square not yet used 16 z not yet used what to do now let us do in this part let's try with this one first i'm just writing this part here okay so taking this minus common 64z square is 8, 8 is a 64, right? So 8z whole square. Now, if this one is, now minus is already common, we have taken. So definitely this uh, 1 will be plus and 64 will be in plus and this 16z will be in minus, right? because we have taken minus common simple thing now what about this b square b square is again right this one now last one that is uh, 16z now let us check it 2 into this into this 2 into 8 16z already there <laughs> but in minus because of this so 16 I'm just writing it directly and close this second bracket <laughs> now simplest way this is 7x uh, minus 4y whole square yes and this is before this minus sign 8z minus 1 because of this 2ab 
clear? Should I do the last part? <laughs> I'm just doing it for you. Uh, okay. 7x minus 4y. Now this time I'm not taking this earlier because always try to write serially. It will look good. So 7x, then 4y, then initially 8z minus 1. This is one factor. Another factor will be 7x minus 4y as it is. But 8z will be minus and this one will be in positive. <laughs> My friend, this was the first part of this video. Next part I'm going to do, I'm going to work with the Milton factor. <laughs> you will love it. Stay tuned. I'll be back. Don't forget to like this video, share this with your friends and subscribe to this channel. And uh, you can watch the members area also <laughs> if you have time. Catch you in the next part. Bye.